You're watching WTBS Channel 56 in Detroit. Local broadcast of Where in the World is Carmen San Diego is made possible in part by Talbot's Kids. Playtime, party time, anytime clothing. All occasion clothes for all occasion kids at Talbot Kids. Next to Talbot's at Somerset Collection in Troy. Today's caper is presented by WQED Pittsburgh and WGBH Boston. Carmen's gang is bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. This program is brought to you by the Hotel for Family Fun, all over the world, Holiday Inn. And... This program is brought to you by Toyota. Today's episode, the dog race rat case. <laughs> Gumshoes, Carmen San Diego and her notorious noxious ne'er-do-wells have nabbed again. This time they've dogged Alaska. The famed Iditarod trail sled dog race named for the ghost town of Iditarod has been run every year since 1973. The route runs more than a thousand miles between Anchorage and Nome. It started because of a 1925 diphtheria epidemic. Dog sled drivers called mushers ran medicine to remote northern parts of Alaska. The epidemic ended, but the race lived on. Every March, several dozen mushers meet for what may be the world's most grueling competitive event. They drive their specially trained dog teams for nearly three weeks sleeping as little as possible, conserving body heat and fighting blizzards, thin ice, and charging moose. In 1990, four-time winner Susan Butcher set a record for the run. Eleven days, one hour and 53 minutes. But if you were thinking about entering the competition this year, you can leave your huskies at home. Because last night, by the light of the <laughs> Arctic moon, Wonder Rat wiped all the sleds and dog teams. That annoying little vermin will do anything to promote himself. Now he wants to have his own rat race. Gumshoes, your mission is to trap that rat, get the sleds back on track, and then catch crime queen Carmen San Diego. The crooks on the run, let justice be done. Carmen San Diego. <laughs> And one of these people could find her. Sabrina Sukan. <laughs> Danny Kim. <laughs> Kathleen Johnston. And this man is special agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks. The camera goes over here. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Gumshoes, how are you? Hi. Oh, that's good. Glad you're all in agreement there. Very good. Listen, you've heard about the case. We're going to start you off right now with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we'll give you 10 more Crime Bucks. And the two of you with the highest score at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round. Okay? Chief, let's go. Greg, Wonder Rat has stolen all the Iditarod dog sleds and teens, and there's no time to lose. Here's the profile on Wonder. He's Wonder Rat, fabulous Wonder Rat, the mighty Wonder Rat. He's hungry for fame, and he'll do anything to gnaw his way to the top. And here's what we know so far. Wonder Rat slipped his sleds across the Alaskan border into a Canadian territory. Like Alaska, this territory had a burst of growth during the gold rush. That was back in 1896 when gold nuggets were discovered along the Bonanza Creek in the Klondike. It wasn't long before nearby Dawson City changed from an uninhabited place to the biggest and wildest city west of Winnipeg. Well, the gold rush is over, and the rat rush is on. Go get them, gumshoes. Thanks, Chief. Okay, guys, name the Canadian area. Is it Yukon Territory, British Columbia, or Saskatchewan? Remember the clues that we heard? Gold discovered in 1896, Bonanza Creek, and Dawson City. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please. Kate's ready, so is Danny, so is Sabrina. Sabrina, we'll start with you. What do you say? Yukon Territory. Yukon Territory. Danny. Yukon Territory. Yukon Territory. Kiss, uh, Kate. Yukon Territory. Yukon Territory. The answer we're looking for is Yukon Territory. Yeah, that's 
way to start that thing off. So everybody goes from 50 crime bucks to 60 at the very start. Nice job. Sabrina, listen, we were talking earlier, and you told me that you are a joiner? Yes, I participate in a lot of after-school activities. I'm editor-in-chief of the yearbook. I'm co-captain of the debate team, member of the math team, and I work on the WDN News Show. Whew, well, listen, I'm glad you can work us into your schedule. Danny, tell me about yourself. Um, I like to ski and play tennis. And uh, I'm a good speller, but I lost the sixth grade spell B with the word rhinoceros. Oh, no, no, no. We're going to give you a chance right now to redeem yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, Danny spelling rhinoceros. Here he is. R-H-I-N-O-C-E-R-O-S. That's right. Good job, Danny. And uh, your name, we have Kathleen on your, on your uh, name tag, but we're calling you Kate today because that's what you prefer. Uh, tell me about yourself. What do you collect? Um, I like to collect pencils. Very good. Nice to have you guys on the show. All of you guys, enjoy yourself. Have a great time. Please welcome them all to the show, if you will, please, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, look, we got off to a good start. Sabrina, you have 60. Danny, 60. Kate, 60 crime bucks. That's the way to do it, you guys. Now, for our next clue, we turn to... You guys hear that? I think I'm getting a signal now from Acme Crawley Critternet. Excuse me, let me check on this. Yo, Kafka, what's the dirt? Oh, Greg, hi. I followed Wonder Rat onto a train in Lima for a ride up the Andes on one of the world's highest train tracks. He couldn't take the heights, and he got saroche, <laughs> altitude sickness. The train conductors keep tanks of oxygen available for whenever that happens to passengers. But they couldn't fit the mask over his ratty little super snout. Boy, was he sick to his stomach. It was awful. I loved it. As Louis B. Mayer once said, do it big, do it right, and do it with class. I think we've done that here. Thanks, Gopka. Yeah. <coughs> okay, guys. <laughs> Name the country, if you will, please. Is it Colombia? Peru or Brazil? Remember the clues that we heard? Lima, Andes, and altitude sickness. Everybody's ready. Sabrina, we'll start with you. What do you say? I say Peru. Peru. Danny? I said Peru. Peru. Kate? I said Peru. Peru. The answer we're looking for is Peru. Nice job. You guys are hot. Sabrina, you're up to 70 crime bucks. Danny, 70. Kate, 70 crime bucks. That's the way to do it, you guys. Now, for our next... All right, guys, that can only mean one thing. It's time for the lightning round, which means all of these questions have to do with Wonder Rat's most recent known whereabouts, which is Peru. Each one is worth five crime bucks. Hands on your buzzers. Listen carefully. Here we go. The Inca Empire was one of the world's greatest civilizations. Did the Incas believe their founder was descended from the sun, the moon, or the stars? Danny. Um, the sun. The sun is right. Five for you. Number two. In 1532, something happened that permanently changed the history of Peru. Was that event the arrival of French fur traders, Spanish conquistadors, or German tourists? Danny. Um, the Spanish conquistadors. Exactly right. Five for you. Number three. The Andes are the second highest mountain range in the world. Is the first the Himalaya? Danny. Himalayas. Uh, Himalaya is right. Nice job. Five for you. Danny, nice job. At the end of the lightning round, Sabrina has 70. Danny has moved up to 85 crime bucks. And Kate, you have 70 crime bucks. Still a close game. Danny, nice job. Greg, N get in here. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I'll, I'll be right there. You guys want to stay here? I'm going to check with her. Uh, she's a little pasty. Greg, I'm not even going to ask how it's going because I know it's going nowhere. Every day it's the same thing. Excuses. Excuses. Gee, she's in a terrible mood today. And she's taking it out on me. That's not very fair. If I was chief, things would be different around here. You called, Chief. Yeah, uh, I was just wondering, uh, how's it going out there? Oh, well, to be honest, it's uh, not going very... Oh, it's bad, huh? Yeah. Not too good. How about a lifesaver? Go ahead. Oh. Make you feel better. Thank you, They really Chief. do make you feel better. Thank you. We're working very hard. We really are. But it's really hard to catch Carmen. I know it is tough. It is. You know what? Just, why don't you have a seat? Just sit down there, take a load off. Huh? Thank you, Chief. Yeah, go oh. ahead. Have a seat. Tell you what, I'll give you a little back rub. Take out some of that tension, huh? Thank you, Chief. That, oh, huh? that feels great. Oh, you're welcome. You know, gosh, you know, you work so hard, I think you deserve a vacation. How about that? <laughs> Just like the, the uh, gumshoe captures Carmen San Diego today, I'll give you a trip anywhere in North America. <laughs> Chief, you're too generous. Oh, that, that's a wonderful gesture on your part. I mean, I can't thank you enough. You, you've always been so good to me, so 
good to me, so good to me, so... Excuses, 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 and... Greg, stop daydreaming and get out there and get to work. Right, Chief. And Greg, yes, take me off that wig. Right, right, Chief. Sorry. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, uh, Gumshoes, remember, we're still looking for Wonder Rat and the Sled. Uh, fortunately for us, though, Acme Bugnet has just intercepted this phone conversation between Wonder Rat and Carmen San Diego. Watch. Take the dog sleds to the Bisigis Islands. Most of its islands are uninhabited. They belong to a small West African country. Oh, Carmen, who will I give autographs to? I said most are uninhabited. There are people in Bubak. You might catch them dancing. Today's caper is presented by WQED Pittsburgh and WGBH Boston. Carmen's gang is bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. This program is brought to you by Toyota. All these people want to know. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? <laughs> and one of these people could find her. Elsa Ruiz. Sarah Miller. Michael Saunders. Today's episode, The End of the Trail. And this is special agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee. Thanks. Oh, man. Okay. How are you guys? You all right? Yeah. yeah. Let's get to work, shall we? We'll get the chief on here now. Chief, you there? I'm here, Greg. Okay, we're ready. All right, detectives. Carmen San Diego and her vile gang have struck again. This time, they did the deed at Mount Katahdin in Maine. Now, the Appalachian Trail crosses 14 states. Built by volunteers between 1922 and 1937, it follows the crest line of the Appalachian Mountains. Or it did. Until top grunge wheeled into the woods and rolled up the 2,000-mile trail, leaving thousands of hikers stranded. Now, here's the dirt on top grunge. He's got bad sinuses, bad breath, and top, bad body top, odor. Top grunge! Your mission, gumshoes, get on the tail of top grunge, return the trail, and then capture Carmen San Diego. Greg. Thanks, Chief. Okay, gumshoes, we're going to start you off with 50 Acme crime bucks. Anytime you answer any question correctly, we'll give you 10 more crime bucks. And the two of you with the highest score at the end of this round will then go on to the next round. Okay? Chief, let's go. Here's what we know so far. Top Grunge took the trail to a British dependency off the east coast of the U.S. Now, he wants to convince island officials to buy the trail so people could walk there from the United States. The island was given its mysterious name by a mysterious triangle where ships and planes have disappeared over the years. Greg. Thanks, Chief. Okay, Gumshoes, to which island did Grunge take the trail? Is it Grand Bahama Island, Hilton Head Island, or Bermuda. Remember the clues that we heard? British dependency off east coast of the U.S. and mysterious triangle. Okay, Elsa, we'll hear from you first. What do you say? Greg, Bermuda. Bermuda. What do you think, Sarah? Bermuda. Bermuda. How about you, Michael? Bermuda. Well, Bermuda is the answer we're looking for. Nice job, everybody. So that means Elsa, you have 60. Sarah, you have 60. And Michael, you have 60. That's the way to start this thing off. Now, before we go too much further, let's find out some more about you guys, shall we? First off, Elsa, Tell me about your career plans, will you? I want to be a lawyer. Really? Why? Because I want justice to be served. Oh, good. Well, that's good. You've come to the right place for that, all right? Uh, Sarah, tell me about your career plans. Um, I want to be an interior decorator. And why is that? Because I like to be creative. Mm -hmm. And have you designed anything at home? I've drawn some things at home. <laughs> like what? Like what kind of things? Old clothes you? and 
design things really? like clothes, yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Nice to have you on the case. And Michael, you like to read? Yes. What type of books you like? I like mystery books. And uh, a specific kind of mystery book you liked? The Hardy Boy Mysteries. Okay, good. Well, maybe you'll be able to help us out with our mystery here today. Nice to have you guys on the case. So, for our next... Wait a minute. Sounds like something's going on out here. Let me check. Check the word on the street. Hey, fellas. Hey, man. What's the word on the street? Hey, man, the word on the street is Les Enfants. Hmm. Yeah, that's French for children. Hmm. Now, Grunge took the trail to a French-speaking African country where some people consider children to be a form of wealth. But you might have trouble fitting the trail into the country because it's so small. It's like only 80 miles wide and 360 miles long. Pretty small, huh? Les enfants. Au revoir. Thanks a lot. All right, gumshoes. Name the African country. Is it Togo, <laughs> Guinea, or Morocco? Remember the clues that we heard? French speaking, 80 miles wide, wide and 360 miles long. Elsa, what do you say? I said Morocco. Morocco. What do you think, Sarah? I said Guinea. Guinea. What do you think, Michael? I said Togo. Togo. The answer we're looking for is Togo. Nice job, Mike. So that means, Delta, you have 60. Sarah, you have 60. Michael, you have 70. Now it's time for us to go to the Paula Abdul of the geriatric set. Here she is now, Nana Rapp. Oh, you're such a nice young man. I'll be happy to do some chill slamming and jamming for you. you hear it? <laughs> On the western side, they got Prague City. The Carpathian Mountains in the east are pretty. They got no ocean. They got no sea. They're landlocked. Completely landlocked. It's south of Poland, and that's no dream. You heard it here from the Nana machine. You got the Nana. Nana. Oh, you got the Nana. <laughs> All right, Nana Rap, ladies and gentlemen, here she is. We have Nana's posse right here with us today. Okay, Gumshoes, name the country. Is it Germany, Czechoslovakia, or Yugoslavia? Remember the clues that we heard from Nana? Prague, Carpathian Mountains, and landlocked south of Poland. Okay, Elsa, start with you. What do you say? I said Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia. What do you think, Sarah? I said Germany. Germany. How about you, Michael? I said Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia. The answer we're looking for is Czechoslovakia. Sorry, guys. Tough there. Okay. <laughs> and a sympathetic audience with us today, too. All right, Elsa, that means you have 60. Sarah, you have 60. And Michael, you're still in the lead with 70. Now, then. Okay, that can only mean one thing. It's time for the lightning round. Going to give you a chance now to try to come up with some extra acne crime bucks. What we're going to do is, I have three questions. Any one of you that answers any one of these questions correctly, I'll give you an extra five crime bucks. Okay, so hands on the buzzers. Listen closely. Here we go. She was born in Prague, Czechoslovakia. Today, she's a female tennis star. Name this Wimbledon winner. Is she Chris Everett, Pam Shriver, or Martina Navratilova? Oh. Martina Nav Navratilova is what we were looking for there. Okay, question two, listen closely. Which of these U.S. states is roughly the same size as Czechoslovakia? Rhode Island, Texas, or New York? Elsa. New York. New York is exactly right. Good job. Gives you five more, takes you up to 65. Okay, question three. You're visiting South Bohemia, and a resident greets you with the phrase, Dobry den. Does this mean thank you, nice haircut, or good day? Elsa. Good day. Good day, right. Okay, that means Elsa, you have 70. Sarah, you have 60. Michael, you have 70. Very close game going here, guys. That's the way it should Greg, be done. Yes, Greg, uh, in my office, please. Okay. Let me check with her. I'll be right back with you guys. <laughs> she needs me. What's up, Chief? Hi, Greg. Hi. Nice day, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I, I guess it is. Yes. yes. Well, I hope that there aren't too many bugs around. Well, I don't, I don't think there are too many. Oh, uh -huh. bugs. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know, you shouldn't say anything too important with oh. these many mm. bugs around. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, it certainly mm. is a nice, nice. day. It's nice. Such a nice day. Greg? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, Gumshoe, still a lot of work to do. Remember, we're looking for top grunge and the trail. Good luck, though. Acme Bugnet has just provided us with this phone re with this recording of a phone conversation between top grunge and Tom San Diego. Carbon, I, I got the trail, but they're on my tail. All right, Grunge. Hide out behind Springer Mountain at the southern end of the Appalachian Trail. <coughs> oh, who was that? In the Blue Ridge Mountains. <coughs> okay, <coughs> I'm on my way. Wait. <coughs> and I hope you start feeling better. Me? I feel great. <coughs> okay, Gumshoes, name the state. Is it Georgia, Alabama? or Tennessee. Remember the clues that we heard? Springer Mountain and Blue Ridge Mountains. Elsa, what do you say? I said Georgia. Georgia. What do you think, Sarah? I said Tennessee. Tennessee. How about you, Michael? I said Tennessee. Ten